This Civic Media Podcast is sponsored by UW Organ and Tissue Donation. Organ donations are desperately needed, and now is the right time to become an organ donor. Talk to your family. Get the dot. Save lives. Go to HeroicDeed.com. This is your WISS Daily News Roundup for Oshkosh Air Support, 98.3 FM and 1100 AM. Civic Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. Vice President Kamala Harris returns to Wisconsin today. She'll make an appearance with former Congresswoman Liz Cheney in Waukesha County. That's where Republican running mate J.D. Vance campaigned last night. In-person early voting starts in Wisconsin tomorrow. We want people to vote in every single way that they can. We want every vote to count. We want get out there and vote. Vote by mail. Vote absentee. Vote early. Vote on Election Day. Democratic running mate Tim Walz and former President Barack Obama will be in Wisconsin tomorrow. U.S. Senate candidate Eric Hovde wants incumbent Tammy Baldwin to disclose more about her partner's investments and business dealings. They don't disclose those investments and how much they're profiting from it. Maria Brisbane is one of the nation's top wealth advisors. Baldwin says Hovde should stay out of her personal life. And I think I speak for most Wisconsin women that he should stay out of all of our personal lives. The two debated Friday night. The race is tight and the outcome could tip control of the entire U.S. Senate. The Green Bay Packers and the city of Green Bay can't agree on a new lease for Lambeau Field. The issue is who will pay for about a billion and a half dollars worth of repairs and renovations. The city wants the team to pay more while the team wants the city and the stadium district to help. A U.S. Supreme Court ruling last week means the EPA can move forward with new federal carbon pollution standards for power plants. Ashley Radzinski is with the Great Lakes Business Network. She says severe climate events are bad for the U.S. economy. So we need climate action now to ensure that our economy can be planned, can move forward in a way that's good for business, that's good for communities, that's good for our families. Power companies had asked the high court for a pause on work toward tougher standards. Jolly Good Soda is officially the coolest thing made in Wisconsin. The Cryer Foods Soft Drinks Made in Random Lake is the winner of the Wisconsin Manufacturers and Commerce's annual contest. Jolly Good's been around since 1966 and was rebooted in 2013 as a craft soda brand. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Here's what you need to know closer to home. For WISS News, I'm Lisa Hale. J.D. Vance was in Waukesha yesterday campaigning for the Trump-Vance presidential ticket. But before then, he made a quick little stop in Green Bay prior to the Packers game. He stopped at Kroll's West where he had a beer with fans before moving on to the private tailgate at one of the homes backed up to Lambeau. Vice President Kamala Harris will be in Waukesha later today with Liz Cheney for a moderated conversation. Bail has been set for Katrina Bauer and her boyfriend, Jesse Vang, for new charges in the death of three-year-old Elijah Vu. Vang is charged with abuse of a child, repeated acts causing death, hiding a corpse, and obstructing an officer. Bauer is charged with chronic neglect of a child resulting in death, neglecting a child, and obstructing an officer. Bail was set at $400,000 for Bauer half a million for Vang in separate bail hearings. They will both have initial court appearances later today. Gas prices are below $3 a gallon throughout Wisconsin. In Appleton, the average is $2.95 a gallon, down over $0.09 from last week. In Green Bay, the price of gas is averaging $2.96. Overall, in Wisconsin, the cost for a gallon of gas is $2.94. Inflation, the high cost of housing and rentals, and the pandemic are three reasons more households are using food pantries, says Bob Hornacek, the assistant executive director of Paul's Pantry in Green Bay. Right now, we've seen kind of the real impact of the pandemic. For a while, there were so many government programs that came in. There was so much emergency food share and flooded into the system. And as that went away, we started to see some of the real impacts that had been masked by some of those government programs. Paul's Pantry, the largest food pantry in the state, serves over 1,200 households in the greater Green Bay area every week. Neighborhood associations do more than keep things looking nice. They also help cities develop policy, says Green Bay Alderman Brian Johnson. 
So neighborhood associations are the folks that we lean in on to tell us about what are the challenges you're facing, what are the problems that you have, what are the opportunities that we're seeing that we're not taking advantage of. And your neighborhood associations have that deep-rooted understanding of what's happening on every single block within their neighborhood, and then it allows that information to flow up as we make larger policy decisions. Johnson says neighborhood associations can also help with social isolation issues. Job hunters should be cautious of jobs that are offered through apps and texts, says Michelle Reinen with the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection. She says sometimes scammers will even hold fake online interviews. They try and make everything look legitimate by going to that whole phase of getting you into maybe a Google room to hold that interview. And they may claim some technology problems during the interview as to why you can't see them or different connections, but they're going to want you to, quote, fill out their applications where you're going to hand over that personal information. Contact the DAPTC if you suspect a scam. And that's what you need to know. I'm Lisa Hale, WISS News. The Packers win a thriller. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with sports. The Packers with a 24-22 win over the Houston Texans Sunday, thanks to a 45-yard field goal by their new kicker, 33-year-old Brandon McManus. It's exciting. Uh, yeah, what a, what a week. Great group of guys. I'm the oldest on the team by two years, so yeah, some of them are, are trying to call me uncle and, and dad already. But no, I'm super excited to be here. Yeah, what a way to help this team win in my first game here at Lambeau Field. Packers head coach Matt LaFleur. He's a vet. You can see it. The moment's not too big for him, and obviously that was a big time kick. Green Bay improves to 5-2. and two. Next, they'll play the Jaguars in Jacksonville. College football, the Badgers able to strip sack Wildcats quarterback Jake Lausch on the way to a 23-3 win at Northwestern. Luke Fickle on his team able to convert turnovers into points. That's the key element to what we're starting to see from, from this group is we're able to take advantage of some of these opportunities that are presented to us. The Badgers host Penn State on Saturday with sports. I'm Mike Clemens. On your entertainment beat, I'm Pete Schwaba. Sure, Mel Gibson has his quirks and comes across as a bit crazy at times. Many people seem to have written him off, but not actor Andrew Garfield, who says everyone deserves a second chance. The Spider-Man actor told People magazine Gibson has done a lot of soul-searching and beautiful healing within himself. Many think the actor hurt his career in Hollywood since a DUI in 2006, during which he made anti-Semitic remarks. He directed Garfield in Hacksaw Ridge as recently as 2016, so it's not like he's completely unemployed. Speaking of Spider-Man, Tom Holland teased a script for Spider-Man 4 and says it's coming along nicely. He and girlfriend co-star Zendaya have both read early drafts and are very excited about the project, which is still a long way from being in theaters. So people will have to try even harder to remember Holland's Peter Parker after the previous film's ending. Inside joke. And this makes a ton of sense news. Variety reports that Al Pacino says he took roles in movies that he didn't even understand because he was flat broke. Pacino says one minute he had $50 million and the next minute he had nothing, thanks to his accountant who stole from him and ended up spending seven and a half years in jail. Pacino went back to work, but not for the money he made when he was younger. This makes a lot of sense, as the actor did a lot of not-so-memorable films post-2010. His new memoir, Sonny Boy, is available for purchase this week. If you like musicals, you'll love this. Hugh Jackman and Kate Hudson are set to play a couple who is part of a Neil Diamond tribute band. Variety reports Song Sung Blue is in the early stages of production. The cast also includes Fisher Stevens, Jim Belushi, and Michael Imperioli. The show is based on a real-life couple who are struggling musicians and formed said tribute band in 2008, calling it Lightning and Thunder. Who else thinks this sounds like an absolute blast? The Apprentice, starring Sebastian Stan, has caused some controversy and generated the ire of Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump. Trump and his team tried to prevent the film from coming out altogether. Stan says that's hypocritical as the candidate has been touting free speech. The Apprentice follows Trump in the early days of his business ventures. The film received good reviews and is currently in theaters. Remember when we used to order DVDs from Netflix through the mail and there were times the company was struggling to survive? Those days are long gone. Netflix added 5 million users in the third quarter of this year alone. The company is projecting its earnings to be $43 billion in 2025. That's a growth of 11 to 13 percent, according to Variety, and about $5 million bucks more than last year. The streaming platform now has 282 million users. This must mean lower prices for subscribers, right? Hello? Is this mic on? For more showbiz fun, tune into Nightlight with me, Peach Waba, weeknights from 6 to 8 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. It's going to be another nice one today. Partly cloudy, high in the upper 70s this afternoon. Tonight, partly cloudy into the low 50s. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, becoming breezy. A shower in the afternoon and cooler with a high in the low 70s. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Outside now, it's 58.
That's your WISS Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at WISS.FM. The national news cycle never stops, but it can be hard to find news about your local community. Civic Media is dedicated to providing quality local and state news coverage across Wisconsin. With the Civic Media app, you can get notifications about local stories that matter to you and your community. Find the free Civic Media app in your phone's app store and choose notifications from the menu to tell us what kind of news you want to hear about.